This is part 9 of AngularJS tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss sorting data in Angular. To sort data in Angular, we use the order by filter. Here is the syntax. We specify the order by expression. Following that, we use the pipe character and then the name of the filter, order by. This filter has got two parameters, expression and reverse. Reverse parameter is optional. Here is an example. In this example, we're using the order by filter with the ng repeat directive. So for each employee in employees, that's our expression. Following that, we have the pipe character and then the name of the filter, order by. For the first parameter expression, we are passing salary as the value. So this employee data will be sorted by salary column. And for reverse parameter, we are passing a value of false. That means here the employee data will be sorted by salary column in ascending order. So to sort data in ascending order, set reverse parameter to false. To sort it in descending order, set reverse parameter to true. There is another way to sort data in ascending or descending order that is by using plus or minus symbol along with the column name. So use the plus symbol to sort data in ascending and minus symbol to sort data in descending order. Here is an example. So we are using the order by with the same ng repeat directive, but look at the column name here. We are prefixing a plus symbol with salary column name. That means this employee data will be sorted by salary column in ascending order. Let's see how to implement sorting in an Angular application. So here is what we want to do. We want to provide the opportunity to the user to select the column and the direction by which he wants to sort this employee data. Notice at the moment within the drop-down list, we have name column selected and the direction of sort is ascending. So the data will be sorted by name column in ascending order. Let's see how to implement this. Let's flip to Visual Studio. So here within our controller function, Notice we are building this employee array, which contains at the moment five employee objects. And each employee object has got name, date of birth, gender, and salary properties. We have attached that employees to the scope object. So the model is going to be employees. And within our view, we are using a table element to display that data. So we have a T head section here displaying the column headers, name, date of birth, gender, and salary, and T body section displaying the actual data. So here we are using the ng repeat directive, looping through each employee object in the employee's model, and then displaying their name, date of birth, gender, and salary. With date of birth, we are using a date filter, so we only get the date format in DD, MM, YYY. So when we view this page in the browser, this is how the data is displayed at the moment. Now the data here is not sorted by any specific column. However, we have the data in the model. You know, that's the same order in which it's present right here. Now let's say we want to sort this data by name column in ascending order. To do that, we use the order by filter. So here we have our ng repeat directive, which is looping through each employee in the employee's model. So along with this, I'm going to use the pipe character and then the order by filter. So we want to sort the data by name column. And let's say we want to sort that in ascending order. So for the reverse parameter, I'm passing a value of false. Now, if I don't pass it, the default is anyway going to be false. That means, look at this, when we reload this page, the data is sorted by name column in ascending order. Now, if you want this data be, to be sorted in descending order by that same name column, then pass true as the value for the reverse parameter. So let's save the changes and reload this. And look at that. Now the data is sorted by name column in descending order. You can also do the same thing by using plus or minus symbol. So if I use minus, let's use plus first. So when we use plus, the data should be sorted by name column in ascending order. If we use minus, the same data should be sorted in descending order. All right, now let's go ahead and implement this example. So first, we want to drop down list on our page. So let's remove this hard-coded filter value from there. And then within our page, I'm going to include a select element. So order by, let's include a select element. And I'm going to specify this ng model directive on the select element. So the model for the select element is going to be sort column. I'm going to add this property to the scope object. 
So here, within our controller function, dollar scope dot sort column, and I'm going to initialize this to name. That means this employee data will be sorted by name column. You know, that's what we want when the page initially renders. So we're initializing the sort column property that we have attached to the scope object to name. And we have specified that as the model for our select element. And what are the options we are going to have within our select element? First, we want to sort the data by name column. So the value is going to be name. Now, irrespective of whether you use plus symbol or not, you know, if you don't use minus, then the data will be sorted by default in ascending order. So that's what I'm going to leave it as. Value is going to be name. And this is what we want to display to the user, name ascending. OK, let's include three more options. So we want to sort by gender in ascending order. So the property name here is going to be gender. And then we want to sort by date of birth in ascending order. So the name of the property is going to be date of birth. And finally, salary. And we want to sort by salary in descending order. So since we want to sort the data by salary in descending order, I'm going to prefix the column name with minus. OK? And then, Along with this ng repeat directory here, we're going to use our order by filter. So order by and the name of the column you know, by which we want to sort the data, I'm going to use this model property, sort column. OK? So let's go ahead and specify that right here. All right. Now, within the scope object, we have initialized sort column to name. So when this page you know, it's initially rendered, two things should happen. First, the employee data should be sorted by name column in ascending order. And then, since we also have set ng model of the select element to the same scope property, which is sort column, that option, that is, this option right here, should be automatically selected within the select element. Let's look at that in action. So let's save all these changes and reload this view. Look at that. You know, name is selected within the drop-down list, and the data is sorted by name column in ascending order. Now, if I select salary descending, look at that. Salary, uh, data is sorted by salary column in descending, gender ascending, and date of birth ascending. So our sort is working as expected. In our next video, we'll discuss how to sort this data by clicking on the column headers. So we want to implement bidirectional sort. When I click on the name column once, we want to sort the data by name column in ascending order. And if I click on the same name column again, we want to sort the data in descending order by that same column. We'll see how to do that in our next video. So here we have the controller function code, the view code, and then the styles. Thank you for listening, and have a great day.